So I was on a flight home the other day from Brisbane and I was sitting in the aisle as is the preferred seat over sitting by the window, which is a debate for another day. But yep. the woman sitting next to me asked me, I'm not a, when the bell goes off, I don't stand up, right? I don't stand up. I'm ready. I'll stand up when it's ready, to, when we're ready to get off the plane. Soon as the bell went, I didn't get up. I could see that she was like looking at me. Yep. About 30 seconds later, she's like, do you mind? I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I want to get up and get my luggage. And I'm like, I wasn't going to have an argument over her, but I let her out, let her stand in the aisle. And then I got off. When we got off the plane, I was right behind her. My theory on this is why would you waste the energy standing up as soon as the bell goes that you can take your seatbelt off when you get off at the exact same time that I do? Why does it make any difference? It's a Interesting question. I stand up. You stand up as soon as the seatbelt sign I'm an goes aisle, on. I'm an aisle like you. I sit in, stand, sit in the aisle. Yeah. I prefer, my preferred seat is the aisle seat. I will stand up or I will be fine sitting if the person there has stood up. I don't race that person, but one of us needs to stand up. And this is why. This is what people don't think about. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? So if, if I'm sitting next to you and I'm No, no. If you're, if you're on the other aisle. One of you needs to stand up. Why? This is what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so this is what I've heard. No, it's not. And there's logic behind this. So <laughs> I'm not suggesting – I think it's crazy that people have an issue with people standing up on the plane. There is six seats across every aisle. Let's just talk domestic flight. International's different. It's a whole ordeal. International – Oh, yeah, you've been flying for hours. Exactly. You're and you're going to have to get your bags. So international, take your time. I'm talking about domestic flying only. International, I'm with you. Just, yeah, just relax and do all that. Um, domestic flying, there is six people per row. So there might be 30 rows. There might be 180 people on that plane, give or take. If one person in each aisle does not stand up and get their bags out and get ready to walk, that is going to take, then it is going to take a longer time for the entire plane to get off. (laughs) Hear me out. (laughs) Hear me out. No, it's not. That's so dumb. No, 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 just wait. So this is purely a time thing. What has to happen... If that does not the case, if no one stands up and goes, oh, I'm too cool to stand up, everyone's too cool to stand up, you're going to wait and they're going to go, the doors are open, then everybody is going to have to get up. That means it is going to take extra time for all 30 of those people that are in the row. So I'm saying one person in each row needs to do it. I don't care if it's me or the other person. You will get off the plane faster if people stand up. It, it's logic. There is no other way of saying it. If People do not stand up and get their bags out first and open the cabins and everybody waits till the doors open. It will take longer for everyone to get off the plane. Bottom line. There is, okay. No, that's a fact. Even if you're right. Please tell me you're not, please please tell me you're not disputing that fact. If you're right. That's logic. You're saving like 60 seconds max getting off the plane. The whole plane, no, 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 you might be saving sixty se- you might be saving sixty seconds for your row and the row behind you. It's gonna save more than that. Cause thirty people have gotten up, gotten their bags, opened them up, got them out, ready to it's go. It's one of the most extraordinary theories I've heard. You think that you're doing a service. You think you're doing a public service by standing up early. Whoever gets stand up. You think you're doing a public it. service. No, 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 no. You think it's you're a, a good Samaritan for getting up. Not saying that. I'm saying that the person that stands up is getting the win that they'll be the first out, but it, it's also a necessary evil. It's not. It is 100% a necessary. I don't even know how to respond to that. Well, uh, what, I've what never happens, heard. Okay, so what happens then when the doors are open, everybody's still sitting on the plane, nobody has stood up and all the cabin baggage It never is happens locked. anyway though. Like no, that's no, no. a dumb theory because but no one- But you is- want that to happen because you're saying, I can't believe people stand up before. So in your world, which would be absolute anarchy because <laughs> nobody would be standing up and then all of a sudden you'd all go, oh no, we've got to get off the plane now and racing people falling over each other. <laughs> kicking people down the stairs. Why can't we it, do things as an orderly society? It isn't that orderly then. You go, okay, you're the first one per row. You're the first one that are going to start the process early. So we're prepared. All right? You're the sort of guy that would like want to put a pool in and you'd start digging the pool the day the fiberglass pool arrived at your house. That's not even hundred percent you comparison. Would. I'm telling you right That's now, you need, to be, you need to be prepared. All right, now, and I'll take this to another way. I, on top of that as well, I will always prefer to be standing at the front of the queue than at the back of the queue boarding the plane. And I bet you're against that as well. (sighs) 
it's just like uh, it is beyond belief that you would stand up and queue. So there's like 30 to 40 minutes mm. before you need to. Oh, I didn't say that. To get on a plane. It's 30 or 40 minutes. It is though. No that, mate, it is. It's often like 20, I got, 20 No, no, no. no. I've never had to get up. What I'm saying is this. The minute they call it, you go, I'd go up there. It might be five or ten minutes. Here's, there's only one reason. As long as you're in the first half. I don't need to be right at the front. You and I both know that on every single flight, there are more bags than can fit in the overhead compartments. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm in the first half of the plane, I'm not having to deal with that bag at my feet and reducing what is already no leg room on domestic I flights. I can positively say that I, I've been on as, not as many domestic flights as you, you're older than me, but I've been on many domestic flights. I've never had to put the bag at oh, my feet. Oh, you're lucky then because no, it it's happens. Not, it's just, I've just never even seen it before. You've never seen I've bags I've never travelled with someone. Who, you have never seen air hostesses walking up and down trying to find room for bags and your bag having to go five and six rows ahead. That's fine. That's, what, that's different though. You're, but then you've, you're then, saying at the feet. Yeah, I'm saying, but it, and it happens the feet as well. I'm telling I'd you, those two things improve efficiency. They and, so again, you think you're doing a public service by standing a, no, up no, no. the queue. That's very much a me service. I'm looking after myself because I don't want my bag five rows down or at my feet. I'm not saying that's a public service. Even though it doesn't happen. It, it 100% happens. The it's bag at the feet doesn't happen unless it's a voluntary oh, thing. Uh, that is 100% no one has ever, I've never seen an air hostess go up to someone and say, hey, there's too many bags. Can we put yours at your feet? You haven't been on a flight. You need to find me. <laughs> and then the last one here, and this is a tip for flying. No, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk to you about the queuing okay. thing first. Yeah. Why would I stand up at the front of the queue, which, which again, may not be 20, 30 minutes. It's, say it's 15. You have to stand up for way longer than you need to. When you're leaving at the same time as me, who is going to be the last to board the plane? I'm happy. I often aim to be like the last two or three people on the plane. Because then as soon as I sit down, Thanks. we're going. That's madness. It's, it, I didn't get that. Even Siri, do, even Siri, Siri doesn't, doesn't like understand. That. No, Siri, yeah. She thinks it's madness. She thinks that your theory is stupid, not mine. Well, she didn't say it when I was talking. <laughs> she said when you were talking. Well, I, I think we're not, we're not going to agree on that. Can I just tell you one thing, though, for the flying? You talk about being last on the plane. One thing which is a, which is a good pivot, or not a pivot, that's not the word. One thing which is a good little hack. If you are flying... And you don't care when you get on. Yep. And you don't care where you sit on the plane. Both of those things don't bother me. Proactively put, select a seat at the back of the plane because you are more chance of getting a middle row clear because people will traditionally a middle row clear. So you're well, getting, you know, if you there's three in the seat and you've got the the middle seat, middle seat, not middle row, middle seat, middle seat, empty. So if you go towards the back of the plane, you know, because everyone tries to go to the front of the plane, yeah. you're more chance that you're actually going to get a clear middle seat. And you also have the perk of if there's rear stairs, you're one of the first That's off. You're 50-50 there on a virgin flight. I don't know what they do over at the other mob, which, I got is, a, which is no past. Good. But yeah, I know that on virgin, you're 50-50 of getting that. And if you're on the back, you get on, you've got more chance of having your bag upstairs. You've got more chance of getting a middle seat free. And then you've got a 50-50 chance of getting off the plane first. So how about, how, about, how about this for running bad? The other day I was in the back row of a flight, a Jetstar flight from Brisbane back to Melbourne. And I was in an aisle seat and we boarded via the rear stairs. So I'm like, beauty, I'm going to be the first off this flight. How bloody good is this? I actually stood up early because I- because, You were so excited. Uh, well, because I was the first you, off. It, that, that would be my argument there is the etiquette. Didn't, is, I'm the first, going to be the first off. I'll go first. Stand up. Stairs come up to go up the back rear, the rear stairs, broken. So I had to go all the way to the front. Such a jet star thing. What made you think that the jet star system would just run flawlessly? It did run and you, you, Of course it didn't, mate. So I was last off the plane. Is there you go. So it, it all fell apart anyway. But I will, as long as I live, I will always try and be in the first half of the people on the plane. Domestic fight, again. Yep. Uh, international, I'm actually with you. It's fine. You're going to have heaps of internationals are completely time. different story. They don't put it under your feet. They'll find place for it. They'll put it up, whatever it is. You're going to have checked baggage. It's going to take time. Those rules go out the window. This is purely for domestic fine. One more before we go. If you have that spare middle seat, what's the etiquette on how you share that middle? Say, say your aisle, someone you don't know is window. How do you decide like how you split that middle seat up? Oh, I think it's just completely even that you can a little bit of lean over. over. What about leaving like leaving? Oh, your phone I, I always there? go. You're right with that. There, always courtesy. Oh, you ask with. I, I think. I think you're fifty. I, I reckon there's even middle seat. Can we agree as well? If you're in the middle seat, if you yeah. cop the middle seat, you get both armrests. 
That's, oh, no, I don't agree with that at all. Oh, you, 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 as long as they don't encroach on your side, they should get the armrests. Well, so what are you doing? Where, where is your armrest? Down there. Like mine is here. <laughs> you, you're not even going to give them the armrest here in the middle of the <gasps> Depends. If like if, – if and, 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 and Depends on the size of the person next to me. Is that wide. You can't put both arms on it unless you're touching arms. So unless you want to just hang out and just cut it up to your stranger next to you. But if it's a, if it's like a, if it's a, if it's a child or a smaller frame person than me. Oh, that's different. I would argue that I should have the armrest ahead of that. Like yeah. ahead of a child, I should get the armrest. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Mark, <laughs> ahead of the child, just don't worry about them, mate. They're fine. No, no I, I, the, the etiquette going back to that, the etiquette is really, really simple that, you just you just got to be civil. You get an armrest, extra armrest stage. Your leg can go over a little bit more. You can spread it out. I also will go. You're fine with it. Pull down the uh, tray in the middle. That's where. Oh, you, that's, that's where a you, great that's call. That's where your drinks go. It's that's great. A very good. Call. How good is it, by the way? It's one of the life's little pleasures. I would say it's just <laughs> every bit as good as a domestic business class. What well, having a middle seat? Oh, it's free. amazing. Because <laughs> the other thing is you don't know you're getting it. Yeah, you don't know and you're not paying it. for it. And you're not paying for it. It's brilliant. All right, so I think we need – so we need to determine a uh, – we need almost two votes. Is standing up on a plane straight away, is that a public service? If people haven't watched my, my – like I'm telling you, it's not a public service. People are just going to jump on that. No, no, it's, it's – everyone wants to bag that, but everyone does it. I no, think the not better, everyone does it. I think the better question is this. Does it matter how – Early getting on the plane. Does it matter if you get on the first or the last? Okay, we'll put that out of the pun and see what they say. Yeah. Good chat. Good chat.